Well, good morning, everybody. I'm the special guest this morning. I've pre-recorded this um, yesterday morning, Good Friday, and so I'm going to leave it a couple of minutes before I make a start. So the mug I'm using this morning has got my name on it, and it was given to me earlier on in the year when I was away celebrating a special friend of mine's 50th birthday. But when I was making my coffee in it this morning, it reminded me again during this period of time when we are socially distancing and following government guidelines so we're away from our friends and our family some people are on their own um, some people have a house full of people it just reminded me this morning how special our connections um, and our relationships are and how thankful i am in particular for the ability to connect with people so whether that is by phone or by video call or by um, social media, we have the ability to connect with people, um, being close to people while being far away. So special mug to me this morning, um, remembering a special time. So I'm going to make a start now and I've got the privilege of um, sharing with you from uh, Matthew chapter 28 verses 1 to 10. So I'm going to read those first and then just draw a few thoughts out um, ready for the start of today. So now after the Sabbath, as it began to dawn towards the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to the grave. And behold, a severe earthquake had occurred, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled away the stone and sat upon it. And his appearance was like lightning and his clothing as white as snow. The guards shook for fear of him and became like dead men. The angel said to the women, do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here. For he has risen just as he said he would. Come see the place where he was lying. Go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead. And behold, he is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him. Behold, I have told you. And then if that's not enough, on the way Jesus appears to the women. And they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy and ran to report it to his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them and greeted them. And they came up and took a hold of his feet and worshipped him. And then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and take word to my brethren, to my brothers, to my disciples, to leave for Galilee, and there they will see me. I think this is an incredible... Um, chapter in the Bible and this weekend that we're in at the moment the Easter weekend um, speaks again to me about Jesus being available for and Jesus dying for everybody not just the chosen few now for anybody that knows anything about a Jewish society uh, particularly back then um, women in Jewish society did not typically carry important roles which made their involvement in Jesus' ministry more radical than normal for those times. And Jesus was nothing if not radical throughout his whole ministry. Um, this says to me, this particular reading in the Bible says to me, Jesus' message is not just for a chosen few, it's for everyone who believes in him. And what greater weekend to share that than this Easter weekend. The angel of the Lord appeared to Mary Magdalene and the other Mary, announcing the good news of Jesus' resurrection with four messages. The first one is, do not be afraid. The reality of the resurrection brings joy, not fear. And, and it also speaks to me of when we have times where we are feeling afraid, where we are feeling fearful, it's good to remember the empty tomb. It's good to remember um, Jesus' resurrection. The second message is he's not here. Jesus is not dead. He miraculously rose from the dead and is still alive today. And then the third message is quite interesting because that was come and check for yourselves. The angel didn't roll the stone away from the tomb to let Jesus come out. 
he was already risen. He rolled it away for people to see for themselves, for the evidence to be there to the two women that even though they were afraid and there had been an earthquake, the angel of the Lord had appeared, the tomb was empty. And then the fourth message was go quickly and tell the disciples. And we are told to tell the good news today that Jesus died on the cross and rose again so that we every one of us could have eternal life those that believe on him jesus's resurrection is the key to the christian faith it's such an exciting thing to be thankful for yet again and just as he promised he rose from the dead he foretold that he was going to die and that he was going to rise from the dead and that gives us confidence really that jesus will do what he's promised to do Death was not the end of the story. I'd encourage you to tune in tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock online. Lots of different mediums of how you can tune in and listen to the resurrection message because it is a really exciting one. And so today, think about what God has promised you and pray again to see those promises fulfilled. Don't feel that anything is too small or insignificant to God. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter what background you're from. Jesus died for you and he rose again. And today is a fantastic day to remember that. And so I want to give everybody a bit of a challenge as well, because that's what we like to do in our house, to have a great day. And when somebody comes to your mind, phone them or video chat them. Um, even if it's just to say hello, because you don't know what encouragement that will be to somebody, particularly at this time where everybody's social distancing. So have a great day and I will see you again at 7.30 tonight where we'll be looking at Acts chapter 18. Bye everybody.